Okay, so this is just an explanation of what we did today. The, the sample file has been uploaded to the website and an explanation of what we did from where we took off. The first thing I did was I took my revision example and modified into interactive digital media. So that was just a change of content. But I did add a new tag called span tag. You can see I've got this div tag here, starting here, ending here. And inside the div tag, I've added a span tag. So basically, that's the span tag. I just added a span, start, span, end. What that does is it allows me to put a separate class. A class is something that I can use again and again. And ID is something that I can use only once. I mean, I should use only once. So I put a class, and what that class was, a different style for the font. I thought I might need it in the footer, so I just made it into a class. So that gives it a different font, and I put a break there. The next thing I did was I took one of these lists and sublists, and I added one more link element here. So I thought what I'll do with the revision is, uh, is to make a sort of a website about the first semester of interactive digital media, I put some screens of what you're doing, just a simple four or five page website. The next thing what I did was I put the bottom links inside a footer. So a link is nothing but an A tag, a start A and an end A. Inside the A tag, if I put hyperlink reference, I can choose where the hyperlink should go when you click on it. Target underscore blank basically says it should open in a new window. Okay. When I made a link tag, I also went up here and created one more div tag. You can call div id nav bar or you can just say nav. There are these new tags which you can actually use to get the semantics right. So nav is really used to specify that, hey, anything within nav is actually navigation. So I put really just A tags. I put the A tag, one, two, three, four. I put four A tags. And right now they're all pointing to index, but I've got web, 3D, art, script, contact. And when I make the pages, I will change these pages. And next week we will do that. So we will be building our site. Now, semantic.